Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about a pretty awesome tool that I use all the time. I think it's a huge time saver and it's also a lot of fun to use, right? So what are we talking about here? Well, um, let's be creative. Let's say we are, I don't know, modeling an airplane and we want panels with rivets on it, right? So I'm going to go in here and quickly create a rivet something like that right and then we'll just um, yeah we'll use that it's fine and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit r to scale it down and then i'm going to hit w move it over here something like that right Control d to duplicate it hit w move it over and then hit shift d a couple of times to make a series right and then just to make it more interesting hit Control d there again we'll put some in this direction Again, Shift D a couple of times, and one more go. We'll take this, Control D to duplicate, move it over here, and that one we are going to hit E to rotate, like so, and then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate, move it over, and then hit Shift D a couple of times. Alrighty. So what do we got here? We have our semi-spheres that are in various locations, as you can see, distributed. And we got some of them that are rotated. So we have our original object, but with um, different translate information and different rotate information, right? And you could even go as far as to actually change the scale, right? So you could go in here and change the scale if you wanted. We'll not do that now, but you can, yeah? Now, let's say this plane is all modeled, all done. I got, I don't know, 15,000 rivets and they're all over the place. And I decided that I don't like the shape of the rivet and I want them to be replaced, all of them, right? In one go. How do I do that? Well, let's create a new rivet. Let's say this is the new and improved, right? I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna right click and go to face, delete that. And then we're gonna go into the top here after frame let's right click go to vertex let's take that top vertice hit b for soft select w push that down so we've got something looking like this and then we're going to turn off b we're going to right click go to face click and shift double click Control e to extrude r to scale in something like that right okay so if i hit three you'll see something like this Let's say I want to replace all of the rivets with this guy, right? Keep in mind, this one is bigger. It's in a different location and it's not rotated, right? Now, the only thing you need to make sure is this, that the pivot point is in the same spot, which is in the bottom of the object, and it is, right? If I hit W, you can see it's at the origin there. That's one. Second, you cannot freeze transformations on anything. As soon as you do that, it won't work anymore. So we got this all done. I want all of these replaced. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these guys and then I'm gonna shift select my new rivet. There you go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to modify, replace objects, option box, edit, go to reset settings, right? And I can uh, choose to copy the attributes to rotate and skill and of course translate. I can also choose whether I want to make a copy, an instance, a reference and so forth. Now, if this were actually the full airplane scene with 15,000 rivets, I would probably do an instance, obviously, but for now, let's just leave it at copy. And we're gonna click on replace objects. Boom, there you go. And now if we look, you see that these are all replaced, including the ones that are at an angle that have a rotate information. And as you can see, it perfectly went from that skill to that skill. Pretty neat, right? Let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.